Hi, that was my fingerstyle interpretation of Spoonful. By, uh, it's actually by Willie Dixon, but made famous by Howling Wolf. And later on by Cream and a whole bunch of other people. Uh, I was listening to it, and there's a lot of empty space in it. And I thought, you know, that would be really good for uh, a fingerstyle thing. Or so I thought. Anyway, I was also asked to talk about some of these guitars that I play. Uh, this is an LPG guitar. Thought it was kind of appropriate because it's got a picture of a wolf on it. And uh, what it is, it's like, I call him a poor man's dobro, because this is a metal plate. And it has a pickup underneath it. And, uh, of course, i got it turned way down now for the lesson so you can hear me talk. But when you crank it up, it has a real snap to it. Um, once again, I'm kind of turned down, so... Okay, a little louder. So I'm just going to take you through the parts of this song. It's very, very straightforward, but there is a little trick to uh, to the right hand, which I'll show you. Um, and the reason it's sort of necessary, because this song is really based on uh, the lick. It's so simple. You know, ultimately. Um, that the uh, to make it interesting, you've got to pick up on the melody that he's singing and it has quite a few words so it's kind of tricky fitting it in so I'll show you what I do. Anyway the intro I'll do that first nice and slow that's all I do with that and there's lots of room in there to put fills stuff like that I think I just swiped that from uh, Clapton's version and then I get into the, the first line of the song, and the melody is kind of like... It's an approximation. So the bass is very straightforward. It's just... Wherever possible. One, two, three, four. And if you miss a note, which I think I did when I demoed it, um, it doesn't really matter. You just try to keep that feel going. So it's... Right? And how I do the, the top part of the melody, I don't know if you noticed, but I alternate my fingers, sometimes all three. And that way I can get more than one melody note in there, instead of like a lot of times when you're finger picking, you're pinching, going to another string. But sometimes you need more than one note on one string. I don't know if you can see that. Turn this up. Sort of like classical tremolo, except super duper easier, right? That's melody one. The tab will be down there, of course. Melody two. And there's a shot there, and I thought I'd go to the 5 for the shot. They sort of hint at it, but a lot of versions don't. But I thought it sounded nicer as an actual 12 bar. Oh, and after the first first one, there's a shot. And I go down to the 3 for the shot. Like that. And now he puts in quite a few words. I can't remember what they are, but there's a lot of them. So I just use all three of these fingers. Then I go to the four. And then I just slide back into the intro. And this is where there's another spot. You can put in a lot of fills. Sounds a little better when it's in tune, doesn't it? So anyway, I think I covered everything, and you can take it from there and have a lot of fun with it. And uh, now it's kind of like a solo piece. Have a great day.